What's up guys, it's Brayden from Overland Outfitters and I'm stoked that you're here. This is gonna be a follow-up video to try and clarify a bunch of questions that I saw on our recent series called Shock Value. So if you haven't watched Shock Value yet, you should definitely do that because it was an insane experience where we got to test five different sets of shocks completely blind. Like we didn't know what we were testing. We had somebody else come in and install everything. So myself and my friend Ian from Wheel Every Weekend, we're both really into suspension. We love tuning shocks, rebuilding shocks, like everything to do with all that. Ian even builds and tunes shocks for race teams. So he's really, really dialed on that stuff. And so we got to test all these shocks totally blind and remove all of our biases. And the goal was basically just to be able to recommend for you guys the best shocks for your setup and also just to know for ourselves because this is just what we're into. And there were some insane surprises. We were not expecting at all what we got. So it was really, really fun and I'm glad to be able to share it with you guys. The big thing I saw was there was a ton of questions. Thanks for your comments, I really appreciate it but there was a few questions that I saw that just came up over and over and over again. And so this video is all about just clarifying those and just making sure we're all on the same page. And so everybody's clear on what we did, why we did it. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So one of the biggest questions that I saw repeated hundreds of times was, are you doing it again? Can you do it again for budget suspension? And the answer to your question is, Yes, we can. It's gonna be so fun. We're gonna do a bunch of mid-budget shocks, something like the Bilstein 6112s. These ones were probably the most requested, so we're definitely gonna be doing those. And yeah, we don't know every suspension setup that's out there. There are a ton, especially in this mid-budget test. So leave a comment and tell us what you wanna see because we're gonna be trying to get as many as we can and we're just gonna go all in and we're gonna improve our testing and we're just gonna do everything better. That's the goal. So definitely leave a comment because I wanna test what you wanna see. So another question that I saw a ton of times is the foxes were rough because you didn't adjust the knobs properly or why didn't you just adjust the adjusters? And the answer is, I don't know if you guys were watching, but there weren't any, because we definitely said that in the beginning. But uh, yeah, so all these adjusters and stuff, the shocks that we tested did not have any. And the reason for that is that we wanted to test the valving, the tune that came straight out of the box from each brand and see what their tune is without us fiddling around with it. The other reason is, I don't know if we could have fiddled around with it and not known what they were, but we're trying to do that. We wanna do another series with all the adjusters. So a bunch more brands, do ADS, King, all of them, and do it with adjusters. We're still figuring out how we can do that, but definitely the more likes, the more subscribes, the more comments, the more likely it is to happen. So appreciate that. So this is a bit rapid fire, but there was a ton of questions about the truck we were testing. So it was a completely stock third gen Tacoma. All it had done was a cat mount chop, 33 inch tires, method wheels. It had Deaver at a leaf in the back. So just stock leaf springs with the Deaver. And then it had some sort of aftermarket upper control arm, but it wasn't really relevant to the testing. I don't even remember what they were. So uh, that's it, that's all. It was just totally stock. We did remove the sway bar. Uh, the reason we did that is to isolate the suspension. You can start adding weight, you can start putting a bumper and a winch and all this stuff, but it starts to change how you would tune the shocks. So I think most companies would assume that they're, you're putting the shocks on a stock truck. So we use the stock truck to test. So that's why we did it. All the shocks that we tested have a 600 pound spring rate. Uh, we did that on purpose, obviously, so that it's equal. The only shock that did not have a 600 pound spring is the Elka. The Elkas come with a 700 pound spring, but honestly, it rides more like a 600 pound spring. And everybody that buys Elkas with a 700 pound spring wants a 750. So I, I don't know how they measure the spring rates on their springs, but they are way softer than 700s of other companies. So it's kind of a wash. But yeah, basically everything was a 600 pound spring just to keep it level. Moving on to the next question. 
a lot of you guys were wondering if we could open up the shocks and show you the insides. And that is definitely a series that is coming out. Ian from Wheel Every Weekend will be doing it on his YouTube channel. I just don't know when he's gonna have time. It's not out yet. So maybe subscribe to Wheel Every Weekend and follow for that. Cause he, I know he's been working on it. So as soon as that comes out, I'll link it in the description, but it's gonna be really cool to see all the differences and see what he has to say about them. One caveat to that is that we did actually open up the Fox shocks. I know in one of the videos we mentioned we should pull them open to see if there was something wrong in there. And we did pull them open and they were totally fine. So uh, yeah, the tests were head to head, no problems. Um, but yeah, definitely subscribe to Ian and watch out for those videos if you're interested in seeing the insides. So if you watch the series, you'll know that we found the Foxes to be the worst of all the shocks. Sorry, spoiler alert. But uh, they were so harsh and obviously we didn't know that they were Fox when we were testing them. We just found them very uncomfortable. So Fox actually ended up reaching out to us and I asked them for a statement. So here it is. If you wanna read that, if you wanna pause the video, but Basically, they wanted us to know that the shocks we tested are an older series that have been out for 10 years and they're phasing them out and they're replacing them with the Performance Elite series. I wish that we had been able to test the Performance Elites, but they were out of our budget because we were buying so many sets of shocks at the same time. And they were actually pretty much backward. They were almost impossible to get. So we just went with the tried and true. Uh, people have been running these for years and we still found them bad. And they said that their tune was based on racing and pre-running. And I just don't see anybody racing a stock Tacoma with bolt-in coilovers. It's just not a realistic use case for 99.999% of people. So I think Fox also realized that and that's why they're completely changing their tuning approach with the Performance Elites. So hopefully we can test the performance elites in a future series where we maybe do all the shocks with adjusters and stuff. And that will be super fun and we really look forward to doing that. So yeah, I'm really excited. But uh, yeah, I really hope that nobody thought that we didn't think Fox makes a good product. Their build quality is amazing, but it was just the tune. The tune was garbage, straight frank. So my favorite comment of the whole series is this beauty right here. I don't know what it means. Uh, if any of you guys can translate for me, please give me the interpretation because I don't know what it's trying to say, but I really love it. It's so good. Uh, but on that note, thanks so much for watching, subscribing, giving us feedback, all that stuff. We're gonna use all of your feedback to improve the next series. And if you have suspension that you're not super stoked on, give us or Ian from Wheel Every Weekend a ring and we can definitely get you dialed in. We can tune your stuff, we can rebuild it, all that stuff, we love to do it. So definitely give us a shout. And other than that, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.